Welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Magic Mechanical Learning Tutorials. So in this video I am talking about crank and slotted link mechanism. So such kind of mechanism that will be used into the shaper machine to reducing the uh, reverse stroke time. So generally in the shaper mechan machine mechanism the quick return mechanism is being used so basically all the material removal that will be only happening with the help of forward stroke so in case of the return stroke that will be always as a ideal stroke so we should focus on to the that ideal stroke or you can say return stroke so by the reducing the time for the return stocks we should increasing the productivity of the products in case of the shaper machines so let us see here that will be the one kind of mechanisms and that will be called as a crank and slotted link mechanisms so just you can see the different kind of mechanism so starting with a driving pinion so this one so driving pinions it will be rotating into the anti-clockwise so generally it receives the power from the individual motor and that will be transmitted motion to the bull gear so here it will be the bull gear so by the rotation of this driving pinion by the receiving the power from the motor and that will be connected with the bull gear so that will be having anti-clockwise rotations and by the connecting with the bull gear so bull gear it will be rotating into the clockwise directions so just you can see as a center of the bull gear so that will be also connected with the link so that will be link A to B link and here C to D so that will be called as a, another slotted link and hinge at the point over C. So here it will be the hinge point C and D that will be onto the RAM. So that will be the constructions of the crank and slotted link mechanisms. So generally slotted link is also known as a rocker arm or you can say rocker arm kind of mechanisms so in that case our sliding block over here this you can concentrate that will be the sliding block so sliding block is also known as a rocker arm sliding block and is kept in a slotted or you can say slotted link so the sliding block is concentrated by the crank pin and that will be which is the end of the B so that will be the end of the B point and that will be the crank A to B now just you can concentrate over here when the bull gears that will be rotates so what happened the crank A to B which is also rotates about a center A so the sliding block over here which is connected with the crank A to B at a B by the application of the crank pin so it slides up and down into the link C to D so by the rotation of the bull gears the sliding block that will be rotating right so what happened by the rotating of that particularly bull gears this block is will be reciprocating and due to that rotation and reciprocation of that particular sliding blocks this C to D link it will be reciprocating like this and at the end of the these links that will be connected with the RAM so our intent is what our rotary motions that should be converting into reciprocating motions so by the rotation of the driving pinion into the anti-clockwise that will be converting its transmission to the bull gears and that will be into clockwise directions and that will be 
A to B link, so B block that will be reciprocating at the extreme positions that will be already discussing into my previous theory and by that rotations the C to D link that will be reciprocating so the RAM that will be reciprocating and as you can see in the construction of the RAM at the end of the RAM it will be connecting with the single point cutting tool so that cutting tool it will be attached at the one of the end of the RAM and that tool or you can considering as a single point cutting tool it will be also reciprocate so you can use that reciprocating motions of cutting of the materials so basically all the cutting take place only into the forward stock and return stock that will be considering as a ideal stock so we should reducing that particularly ideal stock time so in that theory we can also adjusting the length of the stock so just you can concentrate over here the stock length is a distance between two extreme positions so here it will be the one extreme positions and second extreme positions so by the figure it is clear that the length of the stroke generally depends on to the length of A to B crank so now length AB can be increasing or by the decreasing by moving the cranking of the B so what happens the bull gears that will be sliding block readily which results the adjustment of the length of the stroke of the ram so by the adjusting that A to B distance you can adjusting the stroke length then second one the adjustment of the position of the stroke so just you can see so just you can see here that will be the clapping lever you can shown into the figure so that will be used to clamp the ram block with the ram so hand wheel so with the application of hand wheel onto the ram is connected to the screw of the shaft of the pair of the bevel gears so that will be the hand wheel you can adjusting the stroke positions with the help of bevel gears so that will be all the bevel gears so you can converting these motions into these motions so by the rotating of the hand wheels the screws are fitted into a ram and is made to rotate so the ram block which is mounted onto the screw shaft as a act as a nut so by the rotation of this this will be rotated and that will be the screw shaft so that will be adjusted so position of the ram hand stroke can be adjusted by the hand wheel so that will be adjusting the stroke positions so when the machine machine is in operations the clamping lever is being tightened by the during the machining that will be the into tight positions to adjusting the stroke right so that will be all about the crank and slotted link mechanism which will be used into the shaper machines for making a quick return mechanisms into the machines to carry out the forward stroke for the cutting and uh, ideal stroke as a quick return stroke so that all about the crank and slotted link mechanisms so if you like this then subscribe and share mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials